What's up, flippers? Welcome to today's video. Today's video is gonna be pretty different. As you can see, we're not in front of my desk today, and that means one thing. It's tutorial time. That's right, I decided a little change of scenery would be good for my tutorials, so we're on the couch now. Today, we're gonna be talking about the first five tricks that you should learn to get started in Balasong. These tricks are all something that I use literally every time I flip and will give you a powerful base to grow from. The tricks we're going to cover in order are the simple open, the standard open, the fan close, the latch drop, and the simple aerial open. Each of these tricks can be strung together in various ways and are used in a lot of combos, so be sure to practice each one. Today I'm gonna to be using the Channel Alpha Beast as the example knife. You can find my full review of it here. Also, if you'd like to support my content and help me make more tutorials, please consider joining my Patreon. We've got an awesome community Discord with lots of funny gag reels there to show off how crazy we are behind the scenes. Any support is greatly appreciated. Anyways, let's get into it. Oh, I almost cut myself. Wait, no, none of these tricks that I'm doing are the trick that I'm teaching. First up is the simple open. This trick is very easy while still looking a bit flashy. To do this trick, you're gonna start in the mechanics grip. This is where you hold the knife normally in your palm closed. Then what you need to do is squeeze the top handle between your thumb and the base of your first finger. Once you've got a hold on the top handle, release the other fingers and let the bottom handle drop. Now, you need to transition your grip between your fingers. To do this, grab the handle you're still holding with all of your fingers. Then let go with your thumb and move it out of the way. Finally, once your thumb is out of the way, flick your wrist so the loose handle swings up and around. Grip the open knife and you're done. This same technique can be used to close the knife too. You wanna practice this one step at a time until you can do it all as one quick motion, like that. Remember, be wary of which handle you're holding and take care to get your thumb completely out of the way as that transition is the key to this trick. All right, now let's try another, this time the standard open. This one is slightly more complex than the simple open as it operates more on the principle of ricochets and changing the knife's direction. Once again, you'll start in the mechanics grip, but this time you wanna make sure that the safe handle is facing the palm of your hand and the bite handle is facing your fingers. You'll need to hold the safe handle through this whole trick to avoid being cut. Now, by gripping the safe handle with your thumb, let go of the bite handle and swing it around your hand. As you can see, if you just let it swing, it'll bounce against the back of your hand. So we've gotta add some rotation to the movement to fix that. Using your thumb, rotate the safe handle so that the bite handle swings under your hand. Then, using the same wrist motion as before, you're going to bounce it off the back of your knuckles and then flick it forward to catch the bite handle open in your hand. To close, just follow the same process. Swing it out, around, back, and then close. Here, look. Around, back, open. Around, back, closed. Around, back, open around, back, closed, just like that. Over time, with practice, you can learn the rhythm of this trick and get it down nice, fast, and smooth. All right, now that we've learned two openings, let's learn to close this thing. Start by doing an open that leaves you in the standard grip like this. Now, once again, you're going to hold onto the safe handle while letting the bite handle swing free. Now here comes the hard part. We're going to fan the handles. To do this, you wanna hold the safe handle near the ends of your fingers between your first finger and second finger and your thumb. Use your thumb to pull towards your hand while using the other fingers to push away from your hand. You can then twist the handle in place. If you do this with enough force, you can swing it so that the loose end of the knife starts swinging around, and that's a basic fan. Now we'll talk about how to keep the fan going at a later time, but right now you only need to know the basic starting part of the fan to close the knife. Once you've spun the knife around, simply stop it where the bite handle is over your knuckles. The easiest way to do this is just let gravity do the work as the fan stops. The handle will be pulled down naturally if your hand is in the right position. Then from there, all you have to do is flick your wrist up and catch the knife closed. Watch. I just fan out the knife and tilt my wrist and the bite handle falls down and then flick it back to my hand into the catch. Timing is key here, so practice this one a lot. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Next up is the latch drop. This trick is very fun to do and actually doesn't require a knife with a latch, despite the name. What you do is hold onto the knife in a closed ice pick grip, which is just the reverse of the mechanics grip. 
like this. From here, you're going to move your thumb and first finger up to the end of the handle that is facing away from your palm. Holding this spot tightly, twist your hand and let go of the knife so that the other handle drops free. As you can see, the knife just swings down and hangs there. This is where timing becomes important. What you need to do is pull up on the handle you are holding at just the right moment while the knife is halfway falling to make it flick back up into your hand. Basically, you just let go of the knife with your other fingers while pulling up at the same time with your first finger and thumb. This will give the handle enough momentum to come right back into your hand. To catch the knife, pull your hand forwards into it as it comes up and use your other fingers to grab it tight. Just like that. The latch drop itself is a great first trick as it helps you get into the ice pick grip and also can be used as an open and as a close. All right, finally, we're gonna do the simple aerial open. This is a super flashy and fun trick that isn't actually too hard to learn. To get this trick, you're going to already need to be good at the simple open. So practice that and come back if you don't have it already. Okay, so all this trick is really is the simple open, but you stop halfway through. I'm serious. The first thing you must do is make sure that you are holding the bite handle to start. With almost all aerials, you want to start with holding the bite handle, as when the knife is spinning through the air, if the blade hits you, it'll be the back of the blade instead of the front, and you'll be safe. Now, once you're holding the bite handle, just start the simple open. Once you've swung out the knife, you're just gonna let it go and swing it up into the air. Then, as the knife comes around in the air, you just need to open up your hand and catch it as it falls. Once again, this is all about timing. You want to to let the knife do one full rotation in the air and then let the handles fall open into your hand before closing it quickly. This takes time to master, but it is pretty easy to repeat. So do it a lot and often. You'll get it with time. And yeah, that's pretty much it. These basic tricks are a fantastic place to start as they teach you many of the foundations and can be strung together easily into mini combos. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I plan to do many more of these in the future, so subscribe for more of that. You can also ask any questions about the tricks. Mm -hmm. You can also ask any questions you may have about the tricks in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Finally, I just want to say thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. It's been an amazing response from the community and it makes me so happy. If you'd like to join our awesome Discord and see some funny behind the scenes, please consider donating. Every little bit helps. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching. That'll be it. Nice. Sound